What is going on, Hive Warriors? It's your boy Edward V, and thanks to the you amazing audience and amazing uh, commenters and viewers, I was able to get a hold of the full study, and we're going to take a look at that study right now. Stay tuned. Okay, so this study is basically akin to trash and and the reason why I want to I had to do a, a second video is because even though the uh, intermittent fasting or the the alternate day fasting group lost a point one a one point oh percentage more of weight than the uh, the caloric restriction group there were so many problems with this study for one, I would prefer that they actually use people who have worked out and have that consistency uh, because this group that they had were horrific. Uh, 10 people were dr dropped out of, of the calorie restriction because they couldn't handle calorie restriction. And then people from the alternate day fasting, 13 people left. And then there was even a middle group that was non-intervention and like eight people left that group they try to pick obese people that were m healthy metabolically so basically like they didn't have any of those you know, problems they didn't have internal health problems they didn't have cardiovascular problems they didn't have anything like that they try to pick obese people and see if the obese people can lose weight at a specific clip uh versus each other in a head head to head uh a trial but they had non-committed trial members and yes alternate day fasting won the day but the problem is that they probably did alternate day fasting for maybe about a month one of the number one things I did was check the fat mass I wanted to see what the fat mass was between the uh, the alternate day fasting group and the caloric restriction group and if you look at it the caloric restriction group actually lost more fat based off of the study. I needed to definitely look into this and find out what was going on. But then the lean mass loss was higher in the caloric restriction group than the alternate day fasting group. And it's just confusing. It seems all over the place. So I read, I kept reading further. I was trying to break down the, the, the study, uh, figure out what, what things that they, you know, even, you know, the health parts of it, the HDL that they were talking about, the LDL, and the actual how intricate that was and what happened at the six month mark, what happened at the 12 month mark. But then I read that the alternate day fasting group basically became, began doing a de facto caloric restriction program. <laughs> My thing about this is I think what happened with this study is they spent so much time I think it was two year preparation, one year of the actual trial, and they didn't want to give it up. They didn't want to give up the study and they didn't want to throw in the white flag because they were putting in so much work, but they should have gave up the study because some of the people left and then a lot, most of the people just turned it into a de facto uh, caloric restriction. So alternate day fasting was basically only alternate day fasting for maybe about two, three weeks. Then the, the, people that they picked, which were obese people, didn't want to stick to it. They didn't want to stick to it. That's why athletes, people say, oh no, well, athletes don't, the athletes don't represent, you know, athletes don't represent the actual person or the normal person. But the thing with the athletes is that you have more confidence that they have that discipline where they can stick to whatever trial they're being asked to do just to you know just to be able to say yeah I, I could complete this trial but like this group was just like yeah you know what i'm mm, i don't want to do it i'm just gonna do caloric restriction I, I know i'm alternate day fasting but i'm just gonna do caloric restriction like that doesn't make any sense if you didn't want to do alternate day fasting and then don't do alternate day fasting don't you know be part of that group or whatever like i just uh, it's 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 uh frustrating reading this study because yes they lost more weight, but they didn't lose more lean mass. They kept more lean mass, but they let, lost less body fat. Like it, it was it, the 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 study was 
a failure in my opinion they should redo it and they should redo it with athletes who have at least one year consistency uh in fitness going to the gym or something like that not something crazy like 10 years or 20 just one year consistency because that at least gives it a higher possibility for success and with that you know so right now all we have to go by is the meta analysis which isn't the greatest thing you always want the randomized head-to-head -head, uh, you know study th done but this is the only the real thing that we have is that they did athletes that went through the system that went through the whole thing and actually followed the protocol you will see that the alternate day fasting groups in the meta analysis that i mentioned in my last video you can go ahead and take a look at that video uh the one that just dropped on wednesday it shows you that the, they lost more body fat although their weights remain the same in terms they both like so the caloric restriction group and the alternate day fasting group lost the same amount of weight in the same time frame but the alternate day fasting group lost a significant amount of body fat over the caloric restriction group so i just wanted to do a follow-up on that uh study and i feel like i wanted to add a completion to it tie it up in a bow send it on its merry way <laughs> and i do appreciate the guys that sent it to me that was a completely garbage study and i think when the studies fall apart that like that i think that's when they make them uh you know pay to play you know like you know, let's hide all this extra stuff all the way down here where you gotta pay for it so at least we get something out of it i just i think it was a failed study Right now, the only thing that we should go by in terms of alternate day fasting versus uh, caloric restriction is not even this new study. It's just that meta-analysis systematic uh, breakdown where they adjusted everything for the same time frame, the same environment, the same scenario, and put them up against each other. And it was 38 different studies going up against each other and alternate day fasting uh, body fat loss was significantly higher than the uh, than the caloric caloric restriction group. I tried I tried to look through it, guys. I tried to see the good in it, but once I read that part, I mean, they even admit that there was so much failed, um, you know, so many failed parts to the study. People quitting, people not following the regimen. People they were no one was doing it correctly. The caloric restriction people were doing caloric restriction, and then the alternate day fasting people just it appeared that they weren't used to fasting so they were like well i'm just gonna do the caloric restriction to lose weight so then basically everyone was doing caloric restriction and it just it it doesn't it doesn't it, it, it does nothing it does nothing for information for us to learn about how fasting beats caloric restriction or vice versa if that's the case we just want to know we just want these studies to tell us so right now there are, have been many positive intermittent fasting studies that have come out, uh, but this one was a just messy one. And even though even though alternate day fasting lost more weight, I'm not proud of it as as I was, you know, before before I saw the whole thing because of how much of a mess up, how much of how how much they they screwed it all up. So. There you go, guys. Uh, let's wait on some more studies that will be coming out in the future. I'm sure that things are happening now. My suggestion to any uh, people who's going to do any more trials in terms of fasting, do daily fasting. Try to um, have people do like the warrior diet or the one meal a day diet. See how that works against a caloric restriction and because uh, the alternate day fasting thing like i don't i don't know they actually do let them eat during their fasting times so people can actually break up those those uh foods it's 500 calories if you want to break it out throughout the day you can break it out throughout the day i believe in true fasting because true fasting does things in your body that that have nothing to do with with weight loss itself i mean yeah, there's things that have to do with weight loss of course you lose weight but it does healthy things in your body and i want to see how that projects itself in six months two to 12 months 
you know, on paper with the numbers, with the, with the average and all of that. I want to look at those things. I'm constantly hunting down studies, guys, so don't, you, you can rest assured that on this channel you will get the studies and I can break them down for you. There you have it, guys. Once again, thank you for bringing that to my attention, giving me that information so that I can read it, and I will see you guys on Wednesday. Peace out. I'm out of here.